Necropolis is going to have uh, one little out of bounds section uh, that, and it's going to have like the only out of bounds section we've seen actually since uh, the advanced research complex. Um, this is a this is a fun level for for that reason alone, just because I, I do like this out of bounds section a little bit. You do a Gauss jump here, grab this codex. Now, for the moment, just skip everything else and get yourself down these stairs. You jump onto this contraption, then do another Gauss jump to get up here and climb out of bounds. Jump onto this black bar right here, and then do a Gauss jump to get into the classic level. Once you get the secret, reload checkpoint. Now, get at your stun bomb. You're going to need to uh, get demons killed with explosive barrels. This can be a little bit of a trolley one, and it's even more problematic because uh, after the initial early part of the level, it's pretty much impossible to actually get uh to, to get those those kills so you're going to want to be very mindful about getting these early early on like before you go through the portal back to the main area uh, you want to have this challenge done what i like to do for this is knock this barrel down the stairs if, you're, if you don't get if you get lucky and it doesn't hit these bricks um you can get it you can get it down the stairs and of course that zombie knocked it right back up all right let's uh let's load checkpoint and try that again yeah that'll happen Sometimes. But again, adapt and overcome. Okay. That looks pretty good. And we got five. Nice. Now, I'm going to get rid of these lost souls that spawn in first. I want them out of the way so that they don't cause me problems later on. I'm going to climb up here, trigger the cell, jump back to the Slayer's Testament. And then jump back to the cell. This is the last cell, so I should be fully, fully upgraded on uh, everything for the suit once I get that last armor upgrade. Now, you've got a Mancubus here that needs to die via pistol. Uh, that's the challenge of Pin Pops the Balloon. If you have Intimacy as best equipped, unequip it. Uh, you do not want this equipped while you're trying to do this challenge. You will not be successful. Um, even with the pistol fully upgraded, it is still damn near impossible to pull it off unless you really, really, really know what you're doing when it comes to like damage values um, and, and how much damage demons can take and how much uh, damage you can deal to them. So uh, just unequip it. You're, you'll be happier in the long run, believe me. Um, there is a formula for this. I don't really use any sort of formula. I just go by feel. Um, I will typically throw a, uh, a rocket, two super shotties, and then I'll just start using the heavy assault rifle until I see it stagger. Soon as I see it stagger, I whip out the pistol, charge it up as much as I can, and go for the face. Just like that. Now, once he staggers, um, go ahead and switch back to Intimacy is Best if you don't have it done yet. And the way you're going to do this next uh, room, th this next room is I'm going to run in. I'm going to drop a hollow to, to kind of lure the zombies out uh, out of the room. I'm going to jump over them, DKSMS the specter that appears. Uh, I'm going to push the skull switch, and then I'm going to turn around. I'm going to throw a stun bomb at the zombies. That stun bomb is going to hit the barrel as well and kill those zombies. So if everything goes well, I'll actually get a bunch of stun kills on stun bomb, and I'll get the, tr uh, the kills for wait for it. And I'll most likely have 9 out of 10 uh, if everything goes correctly uh, through that. Drop a hollow. Press the skull switch. Alright, uh, they didn't play nice, but that's okay. They do need to die no matter what, though. So... Yeah, you got a Cyber Mink here if you didn't get it on... Uh, a pin pops the balloon on the other mancubus at the at the top of the stairs here. Um, you can get it on him as well. Um, you you are gonna want that challenge done before you go into this first fight. If you don't, um, you're gonna have to do some pretty heavy adaptation a little bit later in the level. Um, and that's gonna be a bit bit tricky if you don't know what you're doing. So I'm actually going to uh, run in, throw a stun bomb at that barrel to kill those two guys, and then I'm going to. Use that barrel to finish off. Wait for it. Go and stun this dude. Get to right about here. Now, hopefully you, you can you can go back and, and frame grab right before I pause. You can see what I mean. Um, this is one of the, those weird quirks about the game that is just kind of one of those... It's just something built into the engine with the way the engine registers enemy deaths. It's, it's very odd, and I don't know if it's ever something that they could catch. Um, but you need to kill two Kakos with one shot. 
DKSMS is the easiest way to do this. If you get the Caco Demon, the, the one that's closer to you, directly between you and the one that's farther away, this challenge almost likely will fail. But if you have that one that's closer to you that you're standing next to, just slightly off center and you hit the one far away dead on, um, the challenge will probably pop. So that's why I'm lining these Cacodemons up the way that I am. I'm trying to specifically not have the one that's closer to me dead center in my crosshairs, uh, or it will not pop. Um, it's just one of those weird things. So that's why I'm gonna line these up the way that I am. Just like that. Now, once you see that weapon upgrade uh, thing pop up on the top of the screen, uh, this is where I do mobile turret. Now, mobile turret is going to require killing four demons with a single deploy five times. You can leave the deploy out the whole time. You don't actually need to undeploy and redeploy between ticks. Uh, it will it'll just count every four kills. Um, and so if, if you get 12 kills in a row, it'll register three ticks for you. Um, that's perfectly fine. If you still have any uh, zombies left alive from before and you didn't kill them with the second barrel like I did, you can probably get five out of five in this arena. I'm almost certainly not going to get five out of five. I'm most likely going to get four out of five. So once I see that four uh, that fourth tick pop up, I'm going to just throw it away um, and, and whip out the, the Goss Cannon and kill everything else with that. Uh, but if you still have some zombies left alive and you can get uh, kills on them, and, and you can get the full 20 kills with one single deployment, by all means have at it. Again, adaptation. Also, make sure you do not overheat this thing. It's very easy to do that. Uh, you do not want to let that, that little yellow line go completely around the circle or uh, you will get an overheat and the, it will undeploy uh, most of the time and then you will lose out on any kills that you've had on this deploy that you currently have oh, sir you're supposed to be dead you're also going to want to have uh, infinite ammo for this or you probably won't get it all in one single deploy by the way the groin is a weak point on the Mancubus. Um, you can get the head, but the, the groin is also a weak point. Uh, and I got four out of five on all the demons that I had available to me here. Uh, so I, I'm still going to need one more tick on the deploy. If you didn't do the out of bounds, the lever is over there. Uh, otherwise, you can come over here to grab the auto map. Then come over here, grab the skull switch. Whip out the Goss Cannon to do a Goss Jump. Grab the haste. Come through here, climb. Enter the yellow skull switch. And then what I like to do for this guy, double super shoddy. And just watch the arena. These these spawn locations are fixed. You just have to learn where they are. The second Cacodemon is going to give you the revenants, which I like to get a tick on for some on there. And here's where I'm going to get my last uh, tick on, on mobile turret. So as soon as this Revenant starts to spawn in, I'm gonna grab the quad. One, two, three, four. And then BFG the room. Now I also finish Intimacy as best there, which is great. Uh, I'm gonna switch back to uh, Seek and Destroy at this point, just to see if I can farm a couple more kills. Um, not necessary, not super necessary, but a nice little, nice little thing to do if you are looking for uh, a little bit of safety on, on it. Uh, oh, I'm full up. All right. Go ahead and enter the blue soul switch. Turn these, uh, these bars. And then get yourself ready. You gotta wait for these, these doors to finish doing their voodoo. Uh, and then you're gonna get three imps that spawn up here. Two of them are gonna be right within your eye line right here. Uh, and then from there, you're going to get some heavier demons spawning in. So first two, imp. You got a pinky here, a pinky here. Then you're going to get a specter here. Oops, can move. And a specter here. And then it's going to be revenant, hell knight, revenant, and then two barons. Now, if I'm lucky, that BFG round will stay there.
and that's that fight. Jumping down here. Make sure you grab that Slayer's Testament. If you don't have the uh, two mouths to feed achievement done, uh, you can get it done here. You got a set of three Kakos. There's an easy DKSMS uh, on them. That one is pretty much unmissable. And then there's a Mancubus at the end of this hallway. I'm gonna just lob a little bit of ammo at him to, to take him out early. Jump down here and then you can do a Goss jump to get up onto that platform. Nice and easy. Grab your very last uh, mod. Now I grab precision bolts. I'm gonna switch back to uh, siege mode. Hit that little bit in the center of the icon of sin. Oh, actually. Oh, hold on. Stay put. I'm gonna finish off cluster strike here. Again, you got another opportunity for two mouths to feed there. Cool. Now from here, uh, you're gonna grab the haste. You're gonna get uh, one Baron that spawns right here at the end of the hallway. Another one spawns right here. You're gonna get... Uh, a Mancubus here, a Mancubus here, two Spectres, two Spectres. And that's the whole fight. <laughs> Make sure you grab the secret here. This is your last chance to get two mouths to feed if you haven't gotten it yet. And once I hit that armor, I'm gonna get two Mancubi and two Barons. Um, just throw a BFG. If you've already got three, then you're fine. Um, if you had two in that arena, there's a there's a drop. Uh, can you actually see it? Uh, maybe maybe you can't see it, but it's it's over there uh, behind those rocks. Uh, but just on the on the stair landing, you can grab that if you have two in that arena. Uh, since I have um, since I have three already, I'm fine. So I'm gonna hit that armor secret. Wait for the make you buy to spawn in fully. Nice. Yeah, I don't need it. There's a BFG right here that's fixed. Coming into here. Now, I'm gonna have the BFG equipped going into this fight. Don't have the Goss Cannon equipped for this one. Uh, if you do, you're probably going to miss your cue. Um, I'm going to, as soon as I, well, let me get this started and then I'll explain it while we're waiting for the cutscene to, to skip. Uh, I'm going to have the BFG equipped. I'm gonna run to the middle of the circle, fire off to the side, and then hold the weapon wheel to hopefully skip past his shield, like to, to get him while his shield is down, and then deal the tendril damage, uh, just like I did with the Cyber Demon uh, in Lazarus Labs. So you can look checkpoint here to skip the cutscene. I'm not gonna fire right off the bat. I'm gonna wait for a second, then run up, and then do it, just like that. Now, as soon as he gets to about here, get behind him, and start shooting his heal. That's a kind of a nice guaranteed spot to, to get us to get him to cycle. Now again, make sure you have the BFG equipped going into the second phase. <clears throat> of course, reload on checkpoint. Now, I'm gonna just hold down the left trigger so that I fire on the first frame that I'm able to fire. Uh, as soon as I see that that BFG start to shoot, I'm gonna hold down the weapon wheel and just let let it carry everything from there. Real nice and easy. Now you don't screw up like I did and, and kill that dude right away. Uh, if you don't stagger stagger the second dude right off the bat, you can actually stagger him pretty easily coming out of that first glory kill, and you can get two fast animations. I goofed and shot him because just out of habit. 
Um, so I, I didn't get the fast second animation. Now for this uh, for this spot, you want to line up uh, right about. Uh, oh, I wasn't actually lining up in the wrong spot. My bad. So this is um, this is the splat I was looking for for this one. Uh, this is the splatter we call the dingleberry. <laughs> Don't ask me why, uh, but yeah, we we call it the dingleberry. Um, you want to get yourself uh, to the left, or I guess to the right of this splatter, so that the splatter is on your left. Um, you're looking for this arch actually I, I set up on this point um bite sets up on this one i think he actually sets up like on this spot but um you're looking i look for this arch um this little arch of blood that's how i know that the crucible is going to spawn right here um and that way you can grab it as soon as it spawns in and you're not standing around waiting uh trying to find wait where the hell did it spawn in and once you start the cutscene uh, at that point you just have to hold enter to skip to the 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 next level to, to get yourself through and stop the timer and that is the necropolis as always if you have any questions about the run feel free to jump into our discord we have lots of runners in there that are happy to answer any questions you may have about the run uh you can also find me on twitch at twitch.tv dangerous if you want to jump in the chat and ask any questions you may have uh, about the run um always happy to help out uh, new runners and, and teach them the ways of this run and yeah i will see you all in vega central processing <laughs>